Welcome and shalom to the cosmic world where we think big. This is your girl, Cosmic Kitten. Meow. Back with another one. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, my message today is rent is due. This is my t-shirt, y'all. But rent is due. Rent is due, y'all. Rent is due, baby. Now, you know how that feel when you rent. You ain't got no money for the rent. And rent is due. You know how that feels. And rent is due in the black community. Oh, she mad. Oh, she a bitter black woman. Oh, that's just her experience. Oh, look. Stop it. You might as well stop in the comments when you say stuff like that because I'm finna say what I feel like I have to say because I'm very passionate about this subject because every day I wake up with three little bitty babies under three years old. They just turned th they just turned three and the twins just turned two. I think about how I'm doing this alone and how crazy difficult it is to raise one kid alone, let alone three. And I really, really, if I can, I see that I'm getting some reach on YouTube. And if I can save any other black girl or any other woman, really, I mean, race, race is like, you know, really secondary to what I'm saying. But since it is just prevalent to me and it pertains to me because I am black, I just use that word. But I'm saying it in general to all women. No woman should have to raise a kid on her own. It's literally ridiculous and it's like mission impossible. <laughs> and I'm so tired of people not paying what they owe when it comes to the black woman. Whether it be a cultural appropriation or the black man leaving you and abandoning you with kids and feeling no remorse that um, he's not going to take care of them. I don't I don't care. Don't don't come in my comments talking about child support because ain't no real man wanting to be on child support just for the sake of him having no, no capacity to take care of his family, which is both his girl, which should be his wife and his kids. Like that, that, you know, black men just over glorifying child support is just crazy because he who sleeps with whores squander, squanders his wealth. And then you wonder why you're broke as hell because you don't commit to nothing. Not yourself, not your kids, not your legacy. You don't commit to nothing. So then you wondering why you ain't never getting ahead. Talking about it's the white man. Look, rent is due. Rent is due. It's time to pay up. It's time to pay up with this long line of witchcraft from the black mother. We need to give up witchcraft, ladies. Give it up. Give it up. Give up witchcraft. Repent. That stuff, I used to dabble in it. I'm the last one to judge, so I don't want to hear, oh, you judgmental. La, 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 la. Shut up. I've done it all. I've stripped. I've done drugs. I've I've never... The one thing I didn't do is ever have sex for money, but hell, if, if you, you know, put into account all these bum dudes um, that I've dealt with, you might as well call me a prostitute too, because if you ain't married you a prostitute <laughs> that's what what's gonna end up happening and um it's just I, i'm just so sick of black men in my comments talking about i'm bitter i'm mad um threats you know what i'm saying i mean literally proving my point on why i make these videos i'm just like look bruh look you don't got to like nothing I say. You can tune off. You can hit the button. You can unsubscribe. You, I mean, but I'm. it's not going to stop this band. <laughs> I'm still finna march. Because this is so crazy. It's just, it's nothing more painful than what black women go through within her own community. Like, Y'all, I've never heard these things until I stepped out of the athletic world and into the real world. Um, and the only people who's ever done me the worst was black people. 
I mean, it blows my mind, like, how we blame other races, but yet I only hear the worst things from my people. And ain't no white man has ever said that I was, you know, ugly or I've never heard these things. Like, I've never heard that I was undesirable. I've never heard none of that until, really, I had kids with the father of my kids. I feel so duped, y'all. Like, I I really, like, there's nothing wrong with me. And I don't want to hear, oh... You know, black men, you know, men are going to cheat regardless. I don't want to hear that, dog. That's not true. There are faithful women. There there are faithful men out there that understand the mission, which is long-term longevity. The last thing they're thinking about is what hole they can get with. I'm not saying that some don't fall into temptation and repent, but, but the way that black men do it to get this harem of women, like, I'm just... I'm tired of it. It's not classy. It's not cute. I'm tired of the over-sexualization. Dog, just because I got a big butt don't mean you can put your face in it. Like, cut it out. My body is not to uh, for your consumption. Especially if you ain't talking about being my husband and committing. Okay, I'm not Megan Thee Stallion and I'm not Cardi B. Um, And I'm so tired of these women depicting us as if we're just meat it's so tiring it's tiring it's tiring to go out into this world right now it's just it's over the top it's unrealistic it's over the top it's not who i represent myself to be and it's also not near something i want my daughters to represent and it's just like rent is due y'all rent is due where the money at And I'm not talking about the money you sold your soul for vanity for. I'm talking about where's the money? Where is my soul reparations for all the pain that we endure, not just from outside of our culture, but inside the culture? All this domestic violence, all these threats in my comments because black men don't like what I'm saying. Though I keep telling them I love them and that it just, it's just, it's nothing personal, but I don't want to be your pit bull. Like, it's crazy, y'all. Like, the far, far, I'm far from a mad person, but rent is due. And at the end of the day, you got to pay up, pay up. Rent is due. Rent is due. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not about to keep stepping out here like, You know, the father of my kids, he's acting like he wants me now. You know, the same, you know, roundabout, roundabout that is is, is messing with me spiritually because I do want him. He knows that. But I don't want to go through this no more with y'all black men talking about what you need to choose better. You need to, my, that's what you need to do. You need to kick rocks, bruh. Because statistically, y'all are y'all not committing to people outside your race. Statistically, y'all ghost everybody. So it ain't got nothing to do with it. But the, besides the fact that the black man just don't want to be accountable for not one thing across the border from Egypt to West Coast, California. You, you do not want to be held accountable for not one thing, not knowing that responsibility is beautiful accountability is beautiful um taking charge and leading the community is a beautiful thing black man like come on when are you gonna wake up oh i know when black women wake up since you want to you know ride our coattail and tonight i hope you guys tune in because i really want to do a fair use on Mahogany Pink. Shout out to Mahogany Pink because she got the statistics for yo, baby. She got the statistics. She The way she break it down, she does it better than me. Like, I'm just now getting into speaking and, you know, just, you know, being, you know, more precise on what I'm trying to say. But she got the statistic to the T to where you can't use those same old rhetoric oh she's mad da, da, da. she the statistics is so crazy on her channel that you can't deny it so i'm gonna do a fair use tonight because i did a, a fair use on um you know the the black love is a lie um 
and I'm going to do a fair use on how the black woman needs to hold themselves accountable and what accountability looks like. Yeah. Ooh, the way she breaks it down, baby. Ooh, she hits the juggler. I mean, she beating your head to the white meat. It hurts so bad when you watch this video. I mean, it, it convicts you because you can't deny these statistics. Black women and women who ever want to date these black men who are just, you know, all about the vanity, but but not about no, no um paper. No legacy, no longevity. You gonna feel the same pinch, and I seen it firsthand with the with my dad and his wife, which is white. You know what I'm saying? I watched it. Not much changed. A bunch of infidelity, and no money to even account for it. It's like, damn, if you gonna cheat on me, are you gonna at least pay the bills? At least can I sit home and cry? Do I have to go work after I done cried about you cheating on me? Like Jesus. They're not committing to nobody. So black women, stop feeling bad and uh, and just feel feel sorry for these, you know, other races of women who think they're doing something, making us look bad by taking our men, baby. They need to go. They we 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 need to like in the video when when other women, races of women aim low, you need to aim high. It's time to see ourselves in a better light. I'm so tired of these very cringe-worthy reality TVs of black women being loud and extra flamboyant. Like, can we see ourselves sophisticated and not getting cheated on and not being bitter? Can we please, please? It's embarrassing because I don't act like that. But when I get poked, yeah, I do. Yeah, of course, I'm a human being. If someone's going to poke me, I'm going to react the way I know how to react. But that doesn't mean I walk around with, oh, F black men, oh, F, like, it's not even like that. But I'm passionate because when I go out here into this world to try to make a name for myself, all these barriers and obstacles I jump through, not because of society, but because how our own community depicts itself is the issue. Stop blaming everybody else. Dang. Can you go to Jesus? Jesus. <laughs> Well, I have to hurry up and get in, but I just want to let y'all know that rent is due. Rent is due. It's time to pay up. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all later on tonight. Bye. Meow.